Okay, we're going to take a look here at the crude oil complex. First, this is the daily crude. You can see we've made this big ABCD pattern down here. Hasn't quite made a double bottom yet. We've had a rally. We pull back to the 786. Uh, that's where we are right now in crude oil. If we look at it on the long-term weekly, uh, you see that we have broken down. The whole world is looking at you know, crude oil down around 25 now, which would complete this ABCD correction. What we're going to look at now is if this actually holds and we get a rally from this level. So that's what we want to be watching. So the first thing we're going to do is to look at the heating oil. And uh, that's also part of the complex that we have. And you'll notice the heating oil has completed the ABCD patterns that we've seen here. Uh, this is over a two-month period, which is pretty good. And we could get a rally uh, equal to about 15% uh, up to this level without any trouble at all. If we look at this on the long-term weekly, we're going to see something very similar to the crude oil. We did stop at the 786, and then we had a pretty good rally came down. So this is where we are right now on the weekly chart. If we go from the weekly, from the last low to the last high, you'll see that we're right at the, a uh, little bit below the 1.27, that's about three or four cents below, but it has completed the dailies on this little one that we, that we just looked at. Now the next one we're going to watch, of course, is the, uh, if I can get it up here, there we go, is the gasoline futures. And we're going to be seeing here that the gasoline futures have held the lows of the 16th. And as you can see here, we've had a little bit of a bottoming uh, formation here in gasoline. If we look at it on the long-term weekly chart, uh, you'll see that we have made a double bottom here and haven't gone anywhere. So there's a possibility here that we could be uh, forming a bottom. I'm not sure it's going to happen yet, but we're very, very uh, close. Uh, along with this video, you will receive a seasonal from uh, w, from uh, GAN educators, Jim Flanagan, showing the seasonal tendencies for oil to bottom in November, December, and we're in December. So that's what we're looking at here in the oil complex. Uh, we're looking for a potential reversal. I think any move above $43 per barrel in oil would be a signal of that. And if we go below $38 a barrel, this is probably all wrong. So we want to watch it really, really close because this market is really lopsided. The whole world knows there's a glut of oil, uh, you know, but who knows? You can see what happened with the euro when everybody was bearish the euro this past week. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.